Hello everyone, welcome back to NAB Development Training. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can use flow field in a table. In last video, I showed you how you can use find function to retrieve data from the database. So, before starting this demo, first I will talk about what is flow field. So, in Navision, flow fields are fields that are not actually stored in the database. Means, if you create a flow field, in a Navision table and if you go to the SQL Server database and try to find that particular field, you will see that field is not there in the SQL Server database because whenever you declare a field in nav table as a flow field, then that schema of this field will not create it in the table. So actually the flow fields are calculated fields that the user can call upon instead of performing the calculation themselves. So this recipe will show you how you can add a flow field to your table. So for this demo, first I will create a table with these six fields. Then I will view the property of the field number six, sell to customer number. Then in the properties page, I will set the field class as a flow field and I will use the calc formula as a lookup type that will look for the number of sales invoice header table based on the document number means when you fill the document number in this particular table this will automatically populate the sale to customer number of that particular sales invoice header and after this i will save this particular table and run it and i will show you how it's gonna work so let's move to nav development environment and click on new for creating a new table enter all the field information entry number as integer so after creating these five fields just save your table so at this stage create only five fields do not create the sixth field because if you try to look for the document number then this table is not created yet that's why you can't able to look at the document number so at this stage save your table 50050 whatever the table you want to give a name give here flow field example and click ok that's it the table is saved now so now create sixth field sell to customer number take it code 20 okay now choose this particular field and click on properties here in the properties look for field class change normal to flow field and now in the calc formula section click on the assist button use lookup as a method i want to use cells invoice header to populate the number of the customer in my table so choose field as a cell to customer number and in the table filter first choose field from the sales invoice header that is number and in the type choose field and here from this table choose that particular field that you are gonna to map it so here number will map with the document number after this click ok here click ok so now the calc formula is created save your table press ctrl plus r to execute this table here the table is executed successfully now first look for a number from sales invoice header so look for postage sales invoice and here copy any of the invoice number now go to your table give your entry number document number 
paste the document number over here test value anything posting date today and when you move to another row you will see the customer number is automatically filled over here so the customer number is same as here this is the very simple demo for using the flow field with lookup functionality now just keep the information from post it sales invoice and use anything give the date and move to another row see the customer number is populated automatically as i told you flow field information is not stored in the database means the table field is not created in the database let's see what i was talking about open the sql server management studio so look for your table if i go down here is the flow field example table right click on it go to design if you see the design the sell to customer number field is not available over here only the five field is there entry number document number description value posting date but sell to customer number is not available in the database because nav is automatically maintaining it as a call and treated as a calculated field and stored the information when you run this particular table from nav so that's why we are unable to find the sell to customer number in the database so there is a lot more to learn about so as previously i told you a flow field is not actually stored in the database which means it cannot be used outside the nav client in other application even you can't use it in the sql procedure because it is not available in the table so flow fields can be used to display related information more easily a great example is the cost field from the item ledger entry table the actual cost of an item is the sum of all the associated record from the value entry table so you wouldn't want to manually check its value every time you require that information you also wouldn't want to calculate them using code that's where the flow field comes in not only does it allow you to compile information about related entries but the database keeps a track of it all for you allowing for faster reporting and viewing of data so i hope you understand what is flow field and how you can use it so the exercise of this video is to create this demo example so take a screenshot from this video and try to create a code unit and try to use the flow field in your code and try to get a value so if you can't able to complete this task in the next video i will show you and i will create a demo on this based on this particular video so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and in the next video i'll show you how you can use sum of indexed field thank you for watching